Okie dokie. We're going to talk about an interesting topic. That, you know, we, a lot of people always ask questions about this. And it's, how do I know my calling? Yes, calling. We're talking about calling today. So, I mean, first of all, what is a calling? I think that's, if we define that, then it will help us kind of carry on the rest of the conversation. So, obviously, calling, as we do here in very layman terms, calling is an instruction. It's an instruction from God, and we're very specific where it's coming from. A calling is an instruction from God to do something, to do a, but he gives you an instruction to carry out a particular thing, and it's for his kingdom, not necessarily for yourself, but in line with his kingdom desires. So he, he gives us a calling, and he places us in a place to carry out that calling. So how do I know my calling? I think um, it's important to know, let's just kind of go back a bit. It's important to know that um, it's not just a gift that you have, that is a calling because a lot of people think okay so i've got this gift so that must be my area of calling sometimes we might have the gift but that might not be our area of calling so i think it's very very important that we when we receive the instruction from god we know exactly what he's telling us to do and that's i suppose that's the starting point really because if you don't have that instruction then you're going to go with whatever thing you have okay i have the gift to do this i can sing i can i can act i can do this i can dance oh that must be my calling I think it's very important to have that instruction as to, from God as to what you are called to do, where you are called to serve God, where you are called to serve God in his house. I think it's very important. So one of the things that um, I'm just going to mention is that, you know, when your calling is not evident, as I've said, you're, you are going to bounce around in all kinds of places. But I think it's important to note that there were, when we look at different um, characters in the Bible, so David was a shepherd, but he became a king. And he managed an entire nation. So people will think, so shepherd, looking after sheep and stuff. How does he become a man looking after people? So, I mean, so that's, so nobody would have said that David is going to become a king. Because it doesn't look like that. His brothers definitely did not think he was going to become a king. They think maybe he'll become shepherd, chief shepherd, old shepherd. But nobody was thinking he was going to become the king of Israel. So there's all that, there's all that going on. So sometimes... You might be gifted, but he was obviously he was gifted in gathering people. Obviously, <laughs> so he he gathered he gathered sheep, and he also knew how to gather people. So um, I suppose that's that's uh, a king needs some of that um, in the kingdom. So, but you wouldn't have looked at him and said he's going to be a king. But that was the calling of God on his life. He was anointed like three times for the same thing, you know. So we know that that was his calling. So if you look at someone else like so um, Saul, who became Paul. What was his calling on the day that he got his miraculous intervention with God, miraculous conversion with God? God told him exactly, you were going to preach the gospel to the kings, to the kings, to the Gentiles, and to everybody. So he knew that he was going to preach and he was going to suffer. That was his calling, to preach and to suffer. So that was it. So he had an instruction. So immediately, did you, did you realize that actually when Paul was given that instruction, immediately he left that place where his eyes were open. He went and, starts, and he started speaking about Jesus Christ. Immediately, he started immediately. So because he knew he had an express instruction about what he should do. So I think it's important that you know what your calling is. And not just think, obviously with, with Paul, I would say that God maybe did use a bit of his gifting or some of the things that he was good at. I mean, he was a great orator. He was good at arguments. He was good at apologetics, defending stuff. So God used him too, because he was a master of the law. So, um, and, and the people that he was going to talk to, the Jews, are masters in the law. So he had to use that, those gifts to express, um, explain what he was talking about, ex explain his, his conversion and explain Jesus Christ. So there's, there are times where the gift might lend itself to what you're doing, but it, it might not, that gift in, my, in itself is not the calling. But it might lend itself to what you're actually doing, like, like we see in the life of Paul. And we also see it in the life of David. The gift actually lended itself to him, helping him in being king. But it, nobody would look at you and think, okay, so he's going to be king. Nobody would look at Paul and say, well, one day he's going to be preaching the gospel. It was completely, no way. So I think look at your life and see, and, and look at um, your life and see what, is, what instruction has God given me? What has God told me to do? Where has he told me to go? Because some of us might be in places where using what we have right now and think, okay, well, this is my calling, this is my calling. I think the main thing, how do I know my calling? I think the, well, I would say the first place to start, let me say the first place to start, is to first of all, serve where you are. I think normally in the place where you are serving, most likely is where you will develop your call and you will find out 
who you really are and what you're supposed to be doing. But if you are running up and down everywhere, okay, I think it's this, I think it's that, you're going to be confused. So I think it's very, very important that you are in a place where you are serving. In the place of service, God is where you are serving and you are submitted. It's easy for you to receive the instruction that is your call. So I think it's very, that, that aspect is very important. A lot of people are running about everywhere. I think I'm seeing, I, my call is singing. Sometimes it even sounds very funny. My call is singing. I think I'm called to act. Anyway, right? <laughs> but um, I think it's important that you are serving somewhere and submitted somewhere. It's much easier when you are serving, submitted somewhere and praying for God to instruct you and lead you to the call for your life. The worst thing to happen is for us to be in one place doing something for five years saying it was my calling and then one day God tells you, well, um, that, I didn't call you to do that actually. In heaven, we, 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 um, on, in the books, it's not written here. So I think it's very, very important for us to be obedient to the voice of God. How do I know my call is to be obedient? How do you know it's, it's, when we're obedient to the voice of God, it's much easier for us to know what we're called to do. And as you pray and pray through, God will reveal the place that he has called you to, the setting he's called you to, what exactly he wants you to do. As I said, sometimes the skills that we have, they can lend themselves to the calling, to what God is calling us to. So there's nothing wrong with, okay, I have these skills. Yes, important. So I think it's important. The main things that we take away from here, how do I know my calling? It's, it must be an instruction from God and God will give you an instruction about who you are and what you're supposed to be doing and where you're supposed to be doing it. And make sure that you're planted in a church. And make sure you're planted in a place serving. And in that place of service, God will call you into what, he's, into what, he, wants you to, into what he wants you to do. All right. Okay. Um, we're going to end it right here. Okay. So um, if you've got any questions, then in the comment box below, let me have all your questions. And I will answer your questions. If you've got comments, uh, let's, let's have a discussion right here. Comments below like the video share the video if you haven't subscribed to helen your son's youtube channel subscribe all right okay so it's been a pleasure coming your way bye